Once contaminated material has been removed from a contaminated site, the federal RICRA regulations help determine what type of landfill can contain this removed waste. The type of landfill that is chosen depends on how high the contamination levels are in the excavated material. There are many different types of hazardous waste. This means that there are many different landfills designed to contain each type of waste. I think of two major categories of landfills. One is hazardous waste landfill, and then the other are a group of solid waste landfills. The hazardous waste landfills are designed and located first and designed to contain chemical waste. So there are a lot of requirements around the proper containment and cover when, when it's filled. If the levels of contamination are low enough, the waste can be disposed of in a solid waste landfill, also known as a Subtitle D landfill. If the material is extremely contaminated, it must then be disposed of in a Subtitle C landfill, which is engineered to properly manage the hazardous waste. Main difference then between the hazardous waste and the non-hazardous waste landfills is the hazardous waste has two liners, two liner systems. We'll have that geomembrane that's right beneath the leachate collection layer, and then it will have below the geomembrane another layer of collection, liquid collection material, and a second liner underneath that. So if the first liner leaks, second liner should catch it. Uh, we, we manually dig the soil, or we do have an excavator uh, that takes out the soil also. Uh, kind of the, the bigger volumes, they can help move it out more rapidly. And then it gets loaded onto a dump truck. And once the dump trucks are full, they're headed uh, south down to Woodenville or Redmond, where they get transferred to a train car, and it gets taken down to Arlington, Oregon. If a customer calls us and has some waste they want to bring to our, our site, um, the first step that they do is they prepare what's called a profile. It's a multi-page questionnaire. What type of waste is it? Where is it from? Is there liquids? And then everybody that brings material here, that has to have chemical analysis with it, so they'll provide that analysis. So once the material passes the test, it gets in the front gate, then it will be directed to whatever process on site uh, where it goes, either our landfill, it could be our stabilization location, um, and that's where we take waste and mix other things with it and stabilize that so the, any contaminants in that waste would not leach. We also have what's called a thermal desorption unit, um, which actually heats up the material, goes to a hot drum. The vapors that come off are condensed, and that's an oil, typically an oil product that we recycle. So we're actually doing a, some recycling on hazardous waste. Um, what looks like a pile of waste is, is actually very, very complex. Um, the, the safety features in the landfill really starts with the siting of the landfill. Um, we're located in Arlington, Oregon. It's, a, it's an arid area. We get about eight or nine inches of precipitation in a year. So it's really important to know where you are, where the groundwater is, where it flows. And then from there, what we do is we design our lining system, leachate collection system, and um, how we operate, and that, that leads all the way through closure and our post-closure monitoring. It all starts with that site, just like buying a house, you know, location is everything. <laughs>